How's it going folks? Jeff Benjamin with 9to5Mac. In this video, we're going to talk about managing your iPhone 16, doing things like being able to force restart, entering recovery mode. We'll even talk about iOS 18's new wireless recovery feature that not a lot of people even realize exists. If you're looking to troubleshoot and manage your iPhone 16, check it out. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is just get familiar with the buttons on your iPhone 16 because you're going to use some of these buttons, but you won't use them all. So you're not going to use the action button, but you will definitely use the two volume buttons. On the opposite side, you'll find two buttons, the side button, which we'll definitely be using, but you will not be using the camera control button for any of these operations. So first of all, how to turn off the iPhone 16. There's actually several ways to do so. The newest way in iOS 18 is to open control center and long press on the little power button in the upper right hand corner, and then simply slide to power off. Just that simple. Another way to power down is to press either one of the volume buttons along with the side button simultaneously and just keep holding them until you see the slide to power off dialog and then just simply slide to power off. Another way to power down your iPhone is to go to settings, general, scroll down to the bottom and tap where it says shut down. And then you guessed it, slide to power off. Now that your device is off, if you want to turn your iPhone 16 on, all you need to do is press and hold the side button until you see the Apple logo. Now, if you continue to see a black screen, it means your phone's either completely dead or it's stuck in DFU mode. We'll talk about DFU a little bit later. But now let's talk about how to force restart the iPhone 16, because this is super important. If your iPhone ever acts weird or it hangs up, you can force restart by doing the following. Short press the volume up, short press volume down and long press and continue holding the side button until you reboot. So short press volume up, short press volume down, long press the side button and continue holding. Don't let go until you see a black screen. This is how you force restart your iPhone. Now you can release and then eventually you'll see the Apple logo appear. Super handy tip whenever your iPhone starts acting strange. Now how to enter recovery mode on iPhone 16. So to do so, you're going to need to connect your USB-C cable to your Mac. If this is your first time connecting, you'll want to trust the computer. So you just tap trust on a little dialog that pops up and then verify with face ID or enter your passcode. So recovery mode's handy for those times when you want to reinstall iOS or you want to update to the latest version of iOS. So I'm going to show you how to do so now. So you want to quick press volume up, quick press volume down and long press and hold the side button and continue holding. All right. Quick press volume up, quick press volume down, long press the side button, continue holding and don't let go of the side button until you see the connect to computer screen. So this will take just a second, continue holding. Apple logo first, and then you should see the connect to computer screen right about now. Now you can let go. All right. So now we're in recovery mode. Once you are, you'll see this pop up on your computer. The finder will open. It'll say there's a problem with your iPhone that requires it to be updated or restored. So there's a difference between update and restore update. will just update to the latest version of iOS and keep all your data. Whereas restore will install a fresh clean copy and remove all your data from your phone. Just one note, if you're restoring and you're selling the device or you're giving it to someone else, make sure you disable find my in settings iCloud. Otherwise you're going to have activation lock enabled and the next person to get your phone will not be able to activate without your Apple ID and password. Just something to keep in mind. Now here's how to exit recovery mode. So all you do super easy is just long press the side button when you're on the connect to computer screen. So when you long press the side button, continue holding it until the connect to computer screen goes black and then you can release like that. How to use wireless restore on iPhone 16. So this is a new feature for iOS 18 and this works, I believe with the iPhone 15 and the iPhone 16 air devices. So this feature lets you restore iOS from a nearby iPhone running iOS 18. 
wirelessly. And although there isn't a lot of documentation on this feature, I believe it's going to be best used whenever you have an update in progress that perhaps has an issue or a wireless update fails and you get stuck in a recovery mode boot loop. So all you do is move an iPhone that's running iOS 18 nearby and you'll automatically get this little pop-up requesting to restore the nearby iPhone. And the working iPhone will actually share its Wi-Fi connection with the iPhone in recovery. So here are the details about recovery mode. Recovery mode is a way to restore an iPhone so it can be used again. A working iPhone like this one is used to restore another iPhone. When you connect to an iPhone to restore it, the Wi-Fi network your iPhone is using will temporarily be shared until recovery mode ends. So let's show you how it works. First of all, you just tap continue. You're gonna get a little code on the phone in recovery mode. You just enter that code to verify right here on the working iPhone. So 463205. All right, and then this Wi-Fi connection is being established now between these two devices. And just will take a second. Now you get the recovery options. So you have system recovery and exit recovery mode. So you can choose either of those options. System recovery is obviously going to actually restore iOS and exit recovery will exit recovery mode. So we'll select that one first and tap continue. And what that's going to do is restart your phone uh, and basically break out of that recovery mode boot loop. So that can actually be pretty handy, just using that to get out of the boot loop so that the connect to computer screen won't keep showing every time you try to restart your phone. Now to actually boot back to iOS, hopefully either to the lock screen or at least to the getting started screen for iOS. Uh, so that can be pretty handy. So in just a second, you'll see I finally made it back to the hello screen so I can go through the setup for the iOS install. So now's a great opportunity to show you how I actually got into the wireless recovery mode. And to do so, I'm going to connect to my Mac, perform an update, and then simulate an issue with the update by just simply pulling the plug mid update. So I'm just going to wait until you see a little progress bar start and pull the plug and now the update obviously failed and now whenever i try to reboot this device it's just going to continue to reboot into recovery mode so i'm going to force restart now so quick press volume up quick press volume down and long press the side button and then eventually you'll be met with just a black screen and now what we're going to do is just continually press the side button and watch what happens here. It's really interesting. You're going to see the Apple logo pop up briefly and then go away. Watch them just keep pressing the side button. And you see the Apple logo just pop up there for just a brief second and go away. That's an indication that wireless recovery mode is about to start. And you'll see in just a second, the Apple logo appear, but it's going to look a little different. It's going to sort of fade in and fade out indicating that wireless recovery is starting. So eventually you're going to see this right here. You'll see two iPhones moving close together and that's what you want to do. All right, then I'm choosing system recovery and then continue. So now you can see it's restoring the iPhone and you can see the little progress bar. I'm going to speed this up because it takes a while, but you will need to make sure that your working iPhone is running iOS 18. Otherwise you won't get the prompt to restore the nearby iPhone. So you can see it's preparing now after it downloads the iOS update and eventually you'll see where it is installing. So what do you guys think about this? First of all, have you ever seen this? Because I don't think a lot of people know that this even exists. Uh, Apple has very, very little documentation about the wireless restore feature on its website, on its support site. So if this is new to you, let me know down below in the comments section what you think about it. Hopefully we'll learn more about this feature in future documentation from Apple. But as you know, this isn't a first for Apple. I mean, for instance, the Apple watch has been using wireless restore since its inception. So really the iPhone and iOS is playing catch up. And in my opinion, you should never have to have a Mac in order to perform some sort of vital management aspect on your iPhone. You should be able to do so between multiple iOS devices just like this. All right, so the wireless restore looks like it is 
basically almost finished. It's installing now. And this obviously will take a little bit of time, but let's go ahead and speed right through the rest of this and get back to our hello screen, our setup screen. So almost there and just a couple more seconds and there we go. So we have performed a wireless restore via a nearby iPhone to my iPhone 16 that was stuck in recovery mode. So again, let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. So how to enter DFU mode. Chances are you won't need to use this, but just in case, here's how to do it. So first of all, connect to your Mac and then short press volume up, volume down, long press side button for 10 seconds, long press volume down for five seconds, and then release the side button. So let's try it. Volume up, volume down, long press the side button and hold for 10 seconds. And then once 10 seconds are up, Press and hold the volume down button while continuing to hold the side button. Five seconds, release the side button while continuing to hold volume down and keep holding for an additional 10 seconds or so, but you should see something pop up in the finder on your Mac as well to indicate that you're in DFU mode and it looks a little something like this. So the Mac has detected an iPhone in DFU mode. That stands for device firmware upgrade mode. Basically, this allows you to upload or download firmware directly via USB. And this is not going to allow you to do an update. This is only for clean, fresh, new restores of iOS. And this is something you're going to do if you're having some major issues with your phone. How to exit DFU mode. So unlike recovery mode, you can't just long press the side button. You actually have to perform essentially a force restart. So you short press volume up, short press volume down, long press side. So short press volume up, volume down, and long press side and continue holding the side button until you see the Apple logo. Just keep holding and you'll break out of DFU mode just like that. You can release now and you're good. All right. So now let's talk about how to temporarily disable Face ID on iPhone 16. So you would do this for security reasons, right? To prevent Face ID from being used in some unscrupulous way. As you can see there, Face ID is active for me now. But to disable, all you do is long press either volume button along with the side button until you see this screen. And now Face ID is disabled. You can just tap cancel. And now you can see your passcode is required to enable Face ID. So you can't use Face ID until you enter your passcode. Oh, and yeah, don't use 1234 for your passcode. So now we're going to talk about how to use emergency SOS, which is great if you're in a situation where you need help. So you want to go to settings and go to emergency SOS. This feature will contact emergency authorities in your local area, along with your emergency contact. So only use it when it's truly an emergency. So the first way to invoke emergency SOS is just to hold the side button and either volume buttons and continue holding them like this. And you'll see this little countdown timer. Okay. So I definitely wanted to let go of that before it reached the end, uh, because I don't want to call emergency services, right? The next way to do so is to use the five button presses method. And you have to enable that in settings, emergency SOS. But basically what this will do is allow you to press the side button five times in quick succession to initiate the countdown. You can see it happening there. So I'm going to cancel. All right. So both of these methods allow you to use emergency SOS without even taking your phone out of your pocket. Uh, so that's what's really handy about that. But what if you want to contact emergency services, but you want to be discreet in doing so? Well, you can use the call quietly feature that would need to be enabled under settings, emergency SOS. And when you enable call quietly, notice what happens when I invoke emergency SOS. There's no loud sounds. There's no light going off or any of that. It discreetly contacts emergency services. Did you know your phone is still trackable via Find My even when it's powered off? So notice when I go to power off my phone, you see iPhone findable after power off. I tap that, you see iPhone remains findable after power off, but you can temporarily turn off finding if you want your phone to not be able to be seen via the Find My network. You enter your passcode, 
And now for just this shutdown period, your phone will not be tracked via Find My until you reboot. How to tell the time even when your iPhone 16 battery is dead. This is a new iOS 18 feature. You press the side button and despite the battery being dead, you'll see the time in the upper left hand corner just like that. Similarly, if you use Apple Home Key to unlock your door, you can do so even with the dead iPhone. Notice here, express cards and keys available. So this means even with the dead iPhone, here's my car lock. It is home key compatible and you can see my phone. It's dead, but notice what happens. I can still unlock my door. So ladies and gentlemen, this has been a lesson in how to manage your iPhone, how to force restart, how to enter recovery mode, the new wireless recovery feature, DFU mode, and much more. What do you guys think? Let me know down below in the comment section. And if you appreciated this video, leave me a thumbs up that helps other people know it's legit and subscribe for future videos. This is Jeff Benjamin with 9to5Mac.